Yo guys, today we are looking at the Reebok Speed TR training shoe. I said this once and I will say it again, I think this shoe is a hit. My three favorite things about this model is number one, this is versatile AF. You can wear this to train heavy in, you can wear this to do agility work in, you can do lighter runs in this model, and it all around does really well. Supportive midsole and outsole, lightweight build, overall great all-in-one training shoe. Number two is the price. It's hard to beat the price of this trainer. At $90 USD, you're not gonna find brand new trainers that are really around that price, especially if you're looking for newer models. So I do think the price is a huge plus to the shoe. And my third pro is just how light this model is. We have this mesh and textile upper and it makes this shoe incredibly light. In fact, this is probably one of the lightest training shoes I've worn in a while. So my three pros, versatility, price, and how dang lightweight this model is. Two potential cons I could see folks having with this model is number one, and I might be weird for noticing this, but when I was wearing it outside for my runs, I'm here in Denver, Colorado, so it is a little bit more cold and frigid outside, my feet would get pretty dang cold off the bat if I wasn't wearing thicker socks. The textile upper is super breathable, but it lets a lot of air into the shoe, which is a gift and a curse when you're running in cold weather. It just takes a little bit more time to get acclimated. So wear thicker socks if you plan on wearing this in the colder months to run outside in. The second potential con I could see folks having with this model is yes, it's lightweight, but there's not a lot of material around the midfoot. So it's a give and take there when it comes to the performance aspects. So if you are somebody who likes to do like S locks for your rope climbs, you're gonna feel that rope a lot more in this model just because there's not as much material. Again, it's not a make or break for performance, but it is two things that I think you should be aware of before investing in this model. All right, so when it comes to size and fit, this shoe I thought fit pretty dang true. Now I have read some reviews saying to size up a half size. Personally, I don't think a lot of folks will have to do that. I thought it fit pretty dang true and there was enough toe room up there so I didn't feel like I was too cramped in this model, but it is a little bit more of a more narrow cross trainer. So if you do have a wider foot, I could see that potentially making you size up a half size, but I think for most athletes and lifters, going true to size will be a good bet. All right, so when it comes to price for this model, you can expect to pay around $90 USD. Note that Reebok does have a lot of sales that are often going on, so you can probably find this shoe for less, especially with Black Friday and Cyber Monday coming up, hallelujah. But $90 USD I think is very fair for this model, especially if you are looking for that all-in-one trainer that honestly holds up really well over time. All right, so when it comes to performance, I mentioned that I like the versatility of this model, so I'll break down this performance review in three different sections. Lifting, more agility focus work, and jumping and plyometric work, and then shorter runs. I didn't do any longer runs in this model. Honestly, it's not that comfortable for longer runs, so I capped it to about three miles and less. So in terms of lifting, I honestly could compare the shoe to a Nano with its stability. Overall, the midsole and outsole are pretty dang supportive, not a lot of compression, so if you are looking for a shoe to squat in, to do clean and jerks in, to snatches in your CrossFit classes or any other form of training, I think you should be safe in this model. There's not really any point in the shoe where it's soft, the outsole, midsole, honestly very stable throughout. So if you want a shoe to lift in, I think this is a good bet. Now, when it comes to agility work and plyometric work, this is one of my favorite trainers. One, because how lightweight it is, but two, because it's breathable AF and it fits a little bit more narrow and athletic. So if you like that more athletic style fitting shoe, this is an awesome shoe, I think, for the money, especially when it comes to your plyo training or your more agility focused work where you want a shoe that feels very lightweight on the foot and it doesn't feel very encumbering when you're doing those movements. Now, when it comes to shorter runs, Overall, this shoe performs pretty dang well. It's what you'd expect from a more budget cross trainer. Um, nothing too crazy about the midsole and outsole. It is lightweight and breathable, so that is a perk, but it's not super comfortable for longer runs, so I will say if you are looking for a shoe to like push five miles plus in, I don't know if I would reach for this model if I were you, but again, that probably comes down to what you're comfortable with in running. I like a little bit more of a midsole when I do longer runs, but that's just me. So all across the board, this shoe performs really well. I can't really say it's like the best in any class. However, I would put it in the upper tier for more plyo and agility work. But overall, honestly, this shoe is pretty dang rounded. All right, now let's chat on construction of this model. So let's take it from the toe to the heel. So up here on the toe, we have that synthetic leather that comes up over the full toe. Pretty nice for durability purposes. We have this beefed up layer over the big toe. That's great for toe dragging movements. Then we have a consistent material throughout the medial and lateral side of the foot and this light breathable like textile mesh material throughout as well. Again, you could even see my finger through there. That's how lightweight it is. So making our way to the midfoot, we have six eyelets that go up. I don't 
don't usually lace up the six eyelet, but that's just my personal preference. If you do, you have way less shoestring, so don't take this like big baggy shoestring as like the norm. I'm a freak that only likes going up the fifth eyelet for most of my workouts. Making our way to the midsole throughout. Pretty consistent throughout, has like a nice little bit of give to it, but also it's very stable. So it's a nice blend, I think, of stability, but also a little bit of versatility throughout. The heel itself, nothing too crazy. Never noticed any heel slip here. There's not a lot of material, as I mentioned in the con section. So again, very lightweight, not a lot of frills to this. There is a nice little cut back here on the heel. So you are gonna feel pretty stable throughout. Making our way to the outsole. One of my favorite parts of this model is how dang well it grips the floor. So we have that meta split up here in the forefoot. We have these nice grooves throughout and then through the midfoot here, we have a little bit of a base of security here. This is pretty dang firm. So this isn't like a squishy rubber or anything. It's nice and stable throughout the midfoot. So you're gonna feel nice and grounded when you're doing your lifting and training and so forth. But all in all guys, I think that's really the gist of the shoe. It's kind of a no frills model and that's kind of why I love it because I am also a simpleton when it comes to my shoe. Oh, and then one more thing, we have the rope tech through the medial foot here. Um, we don't have that extended layer of midsole and outsole that wraps up like on some of the nano models. So it does do okay for rope climbs, but it's not the best because it doesn't wrap up too far if you like the S-lock, but that is a small niche ask. So all in all, that's I think the biggest construction callouts in this model. If you've been on the market for a new cross trainer, I really don't think you go wrong with this model, especially for the price. Note that this is one of my favorite cross trainers for that reason, so I might have a little bias there, but calling it as it is, if you have any questions about this model and if you wanna confirm if it's right for you, drop your comments down below. I'm not gonna BS you and say, oh, this shoe is great no matter what. No, it definitely has its pros and cons for different uses, so hit me in the comments. And as always, guys, like this video, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.